I'm going to let you know what you absolutely cannot bring on a cruise so you don't get stuck with your items getting confiscated. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the things that you absolutely cannot bring on a cruise because cruising is actually different than a land resort or even than flying on a plane. And there are some weird, well, some strange things that you cannot bring on a cruise. There's also some practical things that you can't bring on a cruise that are going to surprise you. So I'm going to share those things in this video, but I'm also going to share with you, well, some of the answers to the questions as to what you can bring on a cruise because it can be a little bit confusing. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. So firstly, you cannot bring a clothing iron on a cruise. Now, if you are a first time cruiser, it might surprise you to know that there are no clothing irons in the cruise ship cabins. You cannot bring a clothes steamer either. And basically the idea is that anything that could potentially cause a fire that is a big problem on a cruise ship is not allowed to be brought on a cruise. So what else can't you bring on a cruise? Well, you can't bring coffee makers, you cannot bring kettles and you cannot bring electric blankets. Now, if you are wondering what are you gonna do about clothing, if it does get a little bit wrinkled well you'll want to pack as wrinkle free as possible i do have some tips in some other videos i'll leave them in the link below but you'll want to bring some downy wrinkle release with you that will be helpful in some cases on some cruise ships you might have a laundrette a laundry room that you can use the iron but many cruise ships don't have it so you'd have to use the pressing services Number two, you can't bring any CBD products and you can't bring any marijuana. Now, I know that it probably doesn't surprise you that you can't bring drugs or marijuana on a cruise, but I know a lot of people are surprised by the fact that you cannot bring any CBD products on board. So even if it is legal where you live, even if it is medicinal, even if you have a prescription, you cannot bring any of this on the cruise ship. And basically the idea is that cruise ships are really bound by federal law. At the same time, they do go to many different countries. So right now, this is something that is just not allowed on the cruise and it can actually get you in a little bit of trouble. So definitely do not bring any of these items on a cruise. Number three, you cannot bring any surge protected power bars. So basically those power bars that have electric outlets that you might use in your family room or in your office, you cannot bring them on a cruise. So when you do see pictures of people bringing these on cruises, because there are not a lot of outlets, they're actually like cruise approved or non surge protected power bars. So something like this, where you have the USBs and you have your electric outlets, these are fine on a cruise. I will leave some products that I personally recommend in the description below this video. Number four, you can't bring any weapons on board. So of course you can't bring guns, but there are other things that you also can't bring on a cruise ship. And you will want to check with your own cruise line to see because each cruise line has a long list that includes things like pepper spray and throwing stars. Um, but there are some things that are sometimes a gray area and that includes, for instance, diving knives. So in some cases, if they're short diving knives, you might be allowed to bring them under certain circumstances. So definitely check with your cruise line. Number five, drones. So before you go out and buy an expensive drone before your next cruise vacation, well, you will want to check with a cruise line as to what their rules are for bringing drones. Now, Royal Caribbean and Carnival, as of now, are allowing people to bring drones on the cruise ship as long as you keep them in your cabin and you do not use them on the cruise ship itself. However, other cruise lines don't allow it at all. Now things might be changing, so you do wanna check with your cruise line, but remember there are very strict rules to using drones even in the cruise ports. Number six, homemade food. Yep, you're not allowed to bring any homemade food on a cruise, so nothing that is perishable. Now you can bring prepackaged snacks, so you can bring chips or candies and things like that, but no homemade food on a cruise. Number seven, you can't bring any hard alcohol or beer on a cruise. Now, sometimes this surprises people because you can bring wine and champagne on many cruise ships, at least one bottle per adult, but you cannot bring any hard alcohol on a cruise. Now, what happens if you do bring it on? If you bring it in your checked luggage, chances are it is going to be found. It will be confiscated. If you bring it on board the ship and you pack it in your luggage, there's also a good chance that it will be found now because the luggage does go through some scanners and some checkers. And if it is found, then you will be called down to the naughty room and they'll let you know that they found it and it will be confiscated. Number eight, no wheelie type of shoes or any wheelie type of transportation other than wheelchairs and scooters, of course. So no hoverboards, no skateboards, none of that on a cruise. 
Number nine, you cannot bring any pool toys, any inflatables, any pool noodles, anything like that on a cruise ship. Now, if you do have young children, they will have some life jackets that you will be able to use for your young children. Now, in some cases, some people bring some inflatables to be able to use at some of the islands or at a beach. And as long as you kind of fold that up in your suitcase, that shouldn't be a problem. Number 10, no toy guns. So basically no gun replicas for obvious reasons. Number 11, no lasers. Also maybe for obvious reasons as well. Number 12, no toys that can be launched off a ship. That is how the cruise line describes it. So no canoes, no surfboards, and no kites. Number 13, no fireworks. Number 14, no bleach. Now I have about five more weird things and then I'm going to answer the questions as to what you can bring on a cruise in case you were wondering. Number 16, hookah pipes. You cannot bring that on a cruise. Number 17, restraints. So you can't bring handcuffs. Number 18, fish and meat products. Now, if you were wondering who would bring fish and meat products on a cruise ship, well, an example of this could be that you do a fishing excursion and that you want to bring the fish that you caught back on the cruise ship. You cannot do that. So many cruise ship excursions, like in Alaska, for instance, they will offer a service that they will actually package up your fish and send it to you at home. Number 19, now this is on certain cruise lines. This is baby monitors that are not allowed. Definitely something to check with your cruise line. Number 20, helium balloons. Now I wondered why helium balloons, but it turns out that when helium balloons go up, of course they're gonna come down, they could go into the ocean. And of course that is really bad for the sea and that is really bad for the fish and the environment. Number 21, metal detectors. It turns out if you bring a metal detector, it could interfere with some of the ship equipment and we definitely don't want that. So did any of these things surprise you? Please let me know in the comments below. Now for some things that you might have been wondering about if you can bring them on a cruise. So can you bring a hair dryer on a cruise? Yes, you can. You can also bring a curling iron or curling wand and you can bring a straightener as well. You can also bring an electric shaver on board. If you were wondering, can you bring a fan on board your cruise? You can. You can bring a portable fan for your cabin and you can also bring a white noise machine. Now, if you are a golfer, you can bring golf clubs on board. This is something really good to do, especially if you're driving to your cruise port or perhaps you're going to be golfing. Like if you're on a cruise to Bermuda, definitely bring your golf clubs. If you're going there, you can bring your golf clubs on the cruise and leave them in your cabin. Now, if you are cruising with kids, you can also bring strollers on board. So please let me know if you have any other questions as to what you can and cannot bring on a cruise. And at the end of this video, I'm going to leave another video with 50 cruise hacks that you definitely want to check out. Now, if you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. I'd love to have you here within the Lifewell Cruise community. Thanks so much for watching and happy cruising.